Now let's talk about completing the square. Now, the idea of completing the square, if you have general form fx equals to x square plus bx plus q, so to complete the square, we take half of b, which is uh, b over 2, you put in the bracket, you square this through b, then you minus this b over 2 square plus q. Okay, so this is uh, more like a technique, not so much like a formula. So I'll give you a few examples. Let's start with x squared. Let's say if you have a, we start with a positive number, positive 6, let's say um, minus 2. So to complete the square, we take half of 6, okay, half of 6, which is 3. Since this is a positive, so we put a plus 3, and 3 squared is going to give us 9, and this term is always minus, so it's minus 9 minus 2. Answer x plus 3 squared minus 11. Now, if you don't believe me, just, just see, when you expand this, what would you get? If you take x plus 3 squared, you expand it, you should get x squared plus 6x plus 9. Now, notice we have an extra term of 9 here. That's why we have to minus 9. Now, let me highlight for you here. That's why we have to minus 9 here because the extra 9 here that you have must be subtracted with the 9. Yeah, so that's why I minus 9 here. So you cancel them off. Then you get back the same as the original function yeah so that's the point now we always have to uh, subtract the number at the back okay so one more example so what if the number here is negative let's say minus 8x plus 5 okay half of negative 8 minus 4 now think about if this is minus this is also minus huh? when you square it you get 16 put the minus outside plus 5 answer is x minus 4 square minus 11 what if the number is an odd number? x squared, let's say, plus 3x plus uh, 1. So half of 3 is 3 over 2. When you square it, you get 9 over 4. That's one. Huh? So when you simplify further, well, you get negative 5 over 4. Okay, no problem, right? Okay, so all these are okay uh, because uh, uh, the, the are uh, easy well, I'll say because the coefficient of x squared is 1. Now what if the coefficient of x squared is not 1? For example, if you have 2, all right? Uh, let me start with a simple one. Uh, let's say you have a 4, okay? Let's say minus 2, minus 4, plus 3. Yeah? So we take up 2. You have to factorize the 2. If you factorize the 2, negative 4 divided 2 is just negative 2, right? Now, take note, I haven't completed the square yet. So when I complete the square, I think to take half of 2, which is 1. Half of negative 2, uh, negative 1. You square it, minus it off, plus 3. This 2, you have to times in 1 by 1, minus 2, plus 3. Well, my outcome is this. Okay? Right. Now, what if the number is like negative? Okay, I'll give you another example. So let's say you have negative x square. Um, Let's make it a bit difficult, a little bit difficult, plus 5x plus 3. Okay, uh, should I not use 3? I've used 3 just now, so let's use uh, 2. Okay, we're going to take out the negative here. So when I take out negative 5, when you take a negative, it's going to be negative 5 now. When you complete the square, you're going to take half of 5, which is 5 over 2. You square it, and 5 2 when you square it, is 25 over 4. Alright, and the negative any times inside, you get negative 5 over 2 plus 25 over 4 plus 2. And when you simplify further, this is 8 plus 25, 33 over 4. Okay, last one. What if I have like something like negative 3? Okay, so let's say you have, uh, okay, let me not put the bracket first. Let's say this is uh, x, mm, x squared minus 4x plus plus 1 okay so how we take a negative 3 now when I take a negative 3 from here this is going to be positive 4 over 3 yeah, yeah take note okay you need to divide by 3 so number 2 when you complete the square we take half of 4 over 3 which is 2 over 3 you square it you minus 0 is 4 over 9 right okay you just have to keep the bracket this negative 3 I need to multiply inside 1 by 1 so it's minus 3 x plus 2 over 3 square plus 4 over 3 plus 1 and my final answer will be 7 over 3 okay so these are the standard question but sometimes they may give you unknown okay for example they say okay this quadratic function x square equals to let's say x square 
plus 6x plus k has minimum value of negative 7. So our goal is to find the value of k, right? Find k. So how do you do that? You complete the square. Step 1, take half of 6, which is 3, you square it, minus, uh, take 9, uh, minus, minus 9 plus k, and your minimum value from here, you know this is minimum, my right? minimum value is just minus 9 plus k, and it's equals to negative 7. So when you bring over k, it's just 2. Okay, I think this is also right, not difficult. Now, another type of question would be, they give us a quadratic function, they give a graph, let's say, uh, let's say my graph looks like, um, should I say this, right? And the graph function is y equals to, okay, I tell you what, I'll give you maximum, a minimum is too easy. Let me give you a maximum, something different. So let's say you have a maximum graph like this. And this graph is y or fx, let me I use fx. Huh? So let's say fx equals to, um, minus x squared plus 4x plus k and let's say it has a maximum point of let's say h and should i use 9 okay our goal is to find the value of h and k so now normally they would ask you to express fx in the form of let's say fx equals to minus x plus b squared plus c okay and then hence find h and k so number one way to complete the square now if you look at this equation it's not too difficult to complete the square okay or should i make it more difficult this is still too easy right? okay i tell you what I, I make it more challenging a bit so i take this out take this out okay take this out take this out I switch. I, I probably some of you know the answer. This is four. This is h. This is nine. This is k. Okay. This is two. This is k. Uh, this one is a bit more difficult because your coefficient of x squared is, is unknown. Uh, of x is an unknown. So this is your original function h x plus k. So I need to complete the square. To take out complete the square, to take out negative. This is minus h x plus 9 yeah this one is a bit more dif difficult because there's an unknown inside here if your unknown is outside based on your constant is easier okay so when you complete the square you take half of h so it's h over 2 squared then you square it h squared over 4 plus 9 now this negative you get the times inside one by one so it's positive h squared over 4 plus 9 now from here you can see it's a is your a is less than zero your fx has a maximum and my maximum from here Okay, when I compare, I don't want to write the whole thing. I just want to write this h squared over 4 plus 9 and the result equals 1. What is your maximum from here? It's k, right? Yeah, so I, I can't solve this. I'm going to leave it. How about axis of symmetry? My axis symmetry is x equals h over 2. And from my graph, my axis symmetry is just 2, right? x equals to 2. Right? You can see here, yeah, this one is x equals to 2. So h over 2 is just 2. h is now 4. Right? So actually that's soft part A I've expressed in this form. Part B, my h is 2. When I sub inside equation 1, my k is 2 squared over 4 plus 9. k is just 10. Okay? Alright?